Wales is hosting an Olympic training camp this week, but none of the athletes taking part are Welsh or even British. Boxers from 44 underdeveloped countries are being coached at Cardiff University to give them a better chance of qualifying for London 2012. Our sports reporter Ashley Crowther went along too. The Olympics brings the world together. In fact, it's already happening here in Wales five months before the London Games begin. 68 boxers from 44 countries, both men and women, drawn from all five continents, are here for the next three weeks for an intensive training camp. It's organised by Amateur Boxing's world governing body, who want to help boxers from underdeveloped countries compete on a more level playing field. For this camp, uh, I'm determined to practice hard and to be able to qualify in the upcoming World Championships in China to perform much better to qualify for the London 2012. Cardiff University beat rival bids from France and England to host the camp and today it invited back a recent maths graduate to pass on his expertise. Nathan Cleverley will defend his light heavyweight world title in Cardiff on Saturday and he proved to be an inspiration. I'm happy to meet him because when I talked to him or uh, had him, I, I also to be a world champion like him. It's good for them to come over, use the facilities that we've got and given the best opportunity they, they, they can have really of, of training with the, the correct facilities, with the correct coaching um, and giving them the best chance possible to, to qualify for the, for the Olympic Games. This is a truly international event but it will also leave a real legacy here in Wales because as a direct result of this camp, for the first time Wales has its own Olympic size ring to be used by a future generation of Welsh amateur boxers. Welsh national coach Colin Jones is in charge of the camp. He competed at the Olympics in Montreal in 1976 and he'd love to help others have a similar experience. Going to the Olympic Games at the age of 17 was, uh, was something special. It leaves a mark in him uh, and it's a good mark. So I'm sure if uh, a couple of these could qualify, then it's, it's a, a, a life-changing event. This won't be the last association with the Olympics for Cardiff University. They'll be hosting a pre-Olympic football camp at their playing fields in Tlanrumney and also the Australian Paralympic team later this year.